Here today we're going to simulate the action of enzymes using Lego bricks. So we're going to simulate the action of enzymes using Lego bricks. So here we have, th I've chosen three different types of uh, colors of Lego. And what I've done is I've have written three enzymes on the front of the Lego bricks. So we've got lipase, amylase and protease. They're, we're just going to keep it simple with the three Lego bricks. However, what I've done over here is I have labeled three different sets of Lego bricks with the actual substrate that these enzymes will break down. So I have lipids, starch and protein, but I've connected these bricks differently. I have three separate bricks here and I've used a variety of connectors just to hold them together. So it's simply just three small bricks and then I've just holding them together so I get one entire substrate. And I have these three to match the enzymes. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask the students using protease to find the substrate and match them together. So here we have that protease will break down protein. So the students instantly see that they now have an enzyme substrate complex. I ask the students to repeat this for the other bricks. So we've got amylase, which will break down starch, and we have lipase, which will break down lipids. So we just connect these together so the students can again see that they now have a different complex. So they've an enzyme substrate complex. Then we ask the students to make the products from these enzymes. So on the other side of the brick, so the enzyme is going to break it up and I have written on this side fatty acids and a glycerol. So by using the three separate bricks, I can actually identify that my product will be two fatty acids and one glycerol. I've done the same here with amylase and starch. When amylase breaks down starch, we get a disaccharide. So on this side of the bricks, for the students, I've written maltose. So the students have to identify the product and the product of breaking down the starch will give me molecules of maltose. And similarly with the protease, protease will break down a protein and it will give me small molecules of amino acids. Obviously the brick being small, so I've just written AA on it for the students. I remove the connector and I can prove or show the students that I have a small product, amino acids.